Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh release from Special Navy. It is a part of Special Hobby Company. And here you can see 172nd scale kit, which copies German midget submarine, which was called Bieber and was used during World War II. This is one of their latest releases and as you can see it comes in this nice box. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Uh, box art is quite attractive I would say. On the side we have some information about the kit and on the back side we have several marking options for this kit. Actually there are five of them so you will be able to choose which one you would like to see on your kit. So this is the side opening box so just give me a second to open it and here you can see what is inside. So there is plenty of space inside. I'm removing all the components. So all plastic frames are packed into the same plastic bag and here we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is typical for special hobby products. We have short history note and check in English. Then comes the parts map. Here we have resin torpedoes advertisement. They are also produced by special hobby. And here you can see the errata connection note so that you assemble everything in the right order. Of course, assembly process starts with internals. There will be several components replicated. Then you join the hull, halves, and attach all external elements. And in total, you will have to perform eight steps. Here you can see marking guides for marking options. So each one is um, has its own page, let's say. So as you can see here, we have different marking options. And I will remind you that there are five of them. And here you can see some other products from Special Hobby, from CMK. And also here we have some kits for the 172nd scale Revel kit, which copies type 9C submarine. So it's also quite an interesting addition, which will help you replicate interior on your build. Now let's move on to the plastic parts. Here you can see them. As I said before, they are packed into the separate plastic bag. What we have here is this separately packed decals sheet. Just give me a second, I'll open it and we will take a closer look. There is no mention where it is. It was printed, but printing quality is quite nice. Here you can see it. And we have all necessary symbols for five marking options as I said before. Now let's zoom out and we can move on to the clear section or clear parts of this kit. Just give me a second. Okay, there are four of them as far as you can see, actually five of them. Here they are, molded on quite simple frame. As you can see molding quality is really nice, but maybe you'll need masks for those because otherwise it will be difficult to get a really nice paint finish. Next we have two um, absolutely identical plastic frames. I'm not sure what they are replicating. I guess these are torpedoes and they should be assembled out of two halves as you can see here. Molding quality is really nice and note that each half is attached to the sprue from one side so it should be also helpful for the assembly process. Then we have another two absolutely identical frames which are dedicated to submarine stand. Here you can see them. And it means that finished submarine can be placed on some nice stand where it can be displayed on your shelf and on your models. And I think it's a really useful addition. And then we have main parts, let's say. Here they are. Here we have the hull halves and also some external and internal elements. As you can see, molding quality is really nice. And I can even zoom in so that you can see those detailing features closer. Don't forget that size is really small. Here you can see comparison with my fingertip. And these parts look really nice. Here you can see another side. And now let's flip it over so that we can see that inside we have position pins. Also some special slots for internal elements. So be careful while assembling this together and you will get a nice result. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to write your opinion here in the comment section below. And if you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any fresh video review. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video review. Bye.